morning, everybody. My name is Amy, and today I'm very glad to be chatting with Lu Fun. She is a landscape architecture design student at UC Davis, and she's going to tell us about her major. Um, so Lu Fun, can you tell me about what a typical day is like for you at UC Davis? Uh, I think it's quite different from freshman, sophomore, and junior. And in UC Davis, you have to uh, apply for LDA major in sophomore year. You have to apply again, because there's only uh, 36 seats for LDA major. And in freshman year, there's only pre-LDA major. And uh, there are lower division classes and upper division classes. And in freshman year, there are only lower division classes, like lectures, like introducing landscape architecture, uh, sustainability, and city planning, something like that. And you have to write papers all the time. Uh, start from sophomore year, we have we start to have drawing classes and the studio classes and preparing for applying for LDA major again. And in junior year, we have start to have computer related classes. Like we have to learn many software, many, many software, like <coughs> Photoshop, Adobe uh, InDesign and AutoCAD to have some plans and sections and I think for me right now I have to draw plans sections all the time and revise it all the time because there's no true or false about that only better and better yeah do you guys use the 3d modeling apps on the computer uh yeah I learned it from a design class it's not a required class in LDA major so um you guys take it's almost kind of like art classes like art or design classes would you say some yeah. of those classes and then the others are more STEM related, computer science heavy. Yeah, and I think stuff from junior, you get rid of drawing. No okay. more drawings on hand, I think. A little bit, but mo almost all of them are computer related. Because yeah. in your future career, you have to use right. computers all the time. Yeah. Did you guys learn about ecology or not ecology, but more on the environment side? Did you? Yeah, but in first year <laughs> general background about landscape architecture and for your like the sketching art classes you guys went outside to the campus yeah because we have to know the movement of people how <laughs> people use the space it's hard to say because movement how <laughs> yes. it's not actual buildings or vegetations it's about movement <laughs> yeah because you're building the architecture around how people live and you're building yeah the human interactions. How people use this space. It's not space. It, it, it is space, <laughs> not a place. <laughs> Professor always said that. Did you guys take any field trips to bases? Yeah, always. Like where? San Francisco. Uh-huh, inside the city and just... Oh uh, yeah, inside the city. I thought you were asking about the cities. Would you guys uh, no. go somewhere and just sketch out the buildings? Yeah, sketch out buildings. Um, after we have uh, studio classes, we have uh, site analysis. So I have to go to the site and analysis. <laughs> like uh, we've been to Sacramento and Albany, Bob, the city near Berkeley, I think. We have to, because we have to analyze the site. So we have to go Would there. Would you be interviewing people? If you want, you can. What are the factors that you look at for analyzing the site? Shading and raining, uh, maybe some some of them from online. I have to research about that, the sign and the, the weather. Uh, I think uh, more also movement, how people use this site. Because when we're designing a site, we have to consider about the <coughs> like the neighborhood. So sometimes we will interview people like, where are you from? Like, how often do you go to the site and things like that? How does these analyzed results change how you model the, like, how you think of the architecture? What's one example? Sometimes it doesn't help. Most of the time, last quarter, I have a project about Indian people, and we have to design a place for Indian people. So we interview some people about what, what is the, their culture, what are the traditions. So we have to have. Uh, memorial site of them. Oh, landscape architecture is not only about landscape and architecture, it's about their uh, history and culture behind the landscape. We have to know more like history things. Uh, also, I, I don't, I really don't like it. I don't like history. 
Well, it's really a mix of everything, I feel a like. A mix of everything, like, pretty fine, I think. Because the technical stuff is based on, like, human interactions and history, and then, because it's built for us, built for humans. It's so cool. Uh, what skills does a landscape architect need to have? First, there are many software. <laughs> and second, like, accepting judgment from your classmates, from your professors. And uh, be confident when you are designing. And be confident, uh, especially when you are presenting. Because you have presentation uh, at the end of every quarter. How would you be presenting them on the computer? Or did you guys ever make a 3D model that's like an actual model? Uh, no, so expensive. Uh, we always have a board. We have plans and section perspectives or everything you want to show your idea. So after somebody says, oh, this does not look good, you have to redo it? Or do you have to revise it? Yeah, always, all the time, <clears throat> all the time. Revise it until the last week. I know it's really hard because it's like a whole thing and you have to take it apart and then put it back together. Wow. <laughs> Out in the last quarter, especially the last quarter, because we have really, really good professor. Yeah, she's really nice, and she really gave us really, really, really helpful suggestions. So we have to revise all the time. <laughs> What's one common mistake or one common suggestion that she gives to the students? Okay, why this form? Uh, we have group project in the last quarter, and my group mate they did uh, like a moon shaped island, something like that. And the professor asked, "What is shape?" She asked, "Why? What is? What is form?" And it's hard to say because I just want this form. No reason. When you're designing an island, would you have to look at the meteorology and also the geography too? Oh, uh, we have to, but always we uh, we just regardless about that. <laughs> we have to, but we didn't care about that. Well, yeah. there's so many factors. I never thought about this. Mm -hmm. So would you say the challenge for this major is that there's a lot of details that you have to consider? Yeah, a lot of details. But we have to consider how people... Okay, movement again. <laughs> and landscape again and environment all the time environment is the most important thing in this major i think could you tell me um one example of a project you made and then when you had to revise it again and again i think most of them or all of them i have to revise it again and again when i did site analysis and we have to think about the noise my part was analyzing the noise of the site and so at first i only use right color we need to conduct the mic with the noise analysis it's not about writing a paper about the noise it's about a mic mm -hmm. use graphic to show the noise so at first i only have some red oh use red color to describe where is the most noisy part and uh, later the professor said it's not enough it's not clear so comment more about the graphic i think did she tell you to label what kind of noise that yeah, the level of noise from maybe from yellow to red. The yellow is the most quiet place and the uh, red is the most noisy. How do you know where is the most noisiest? Do you go to the site and to listen? Yeah, we, we know when to the site. And you guys just listen or use some measurement tools? Uh, listen. Oh. Listen and imagine sometimes like uh, this side is next to a uh, highway so we can see it's really noise. What career development options does the LAD major offer for students after college? Let's skip the architect. Is that what you plan to be on? So it's called let's skip architecture. What do you want to design? What do you want to be building? Uh, actually I want to learn city planning the future. Do you know anything about city planning? No. No, I, actually, yes. I know a little bit about that. Like city planning is about designing a city from the beginning. Every part of it is assigned to be like, where's the hospital, where's the education spot, where's the residential place. And we also need to care about the topology behind it. Maybe it's next to a creek, so we are considering the flooding problem. There are many aspects in city planning. Most of them is a group work. It's not an individual work. It's so big. It's so, so big project. I've learned last year in my environmental science class, we learned about um, when you plan a city, you have to make sure everything is kind of um, next to each other. So it shouldn't be so spread out that people need to drive everywhere and mm -hmm. nothing 
connected? So connection is, is a big aspect in city planning. So you have to consider the neighborhood, maybe like divided city into many sections and each section has their own system and all of them group, up, group to a big system. Why do you think landscape architects are especially important today? Because it's about environment, like it always provides better solutions and ways like how people live today and how to protect the environment because like the environment is a really big issue today and landscape architecture always give people uh, better suggestions to use the environment properly. I think. Um, the design of a city just naturally guides people into a yeah. lifestyle mm -hmm. and that lifestyle has a big impact on their that the way that the city is planned has a big impact on their tr different choices like whether they choose to drive or walk and take public transportation or not and mm -hmm. then the facilities that they use yeah there's really like a lot of ways to help the environment i'm really interested in environmental engineering this summer i'm going to be doing an internship on water facilities and water quality for our city. I just never thought landscape architecture could really go towards the same goal of helping the environment. What are some things that you don't really like about this major? Maybe too many revisions. I know it's helpful, but too many, I don't like too many. Things. You really learn to accept criticism. Yeah, we have to accept criticism. And that's the same in the real world. Yeah. Accepting judgment from everywhere. And also I have this question, coming into like choosing this major, were there some courses that you were not expecting to be involved or to have um, been crucial to this major? Yeah, there's one plant class, okay. And this quarter I'm taking one plant related classes. In this course we have to remember 300 plants, their scientific name, <laughs> family their common name we have to know their characteristics so it's really hard and i don't think it's helpful at all it might be helpful in building like a green city you can... might be but, but you can search it online i mean you can just google it but i don't think it's helpful to remember everything is it a required course yeah it's a required course uh -oh. otherwise i'm not going to take it. <laughs> That might, that might be the thing that you don't really like. Yeah. What does your friend say about this course? Do they like it? No. No, they, no. nobody likes it. <laughs> no, I don't think it's helpful. So it doesn't tie into the other courses at all? No, so only remember 300 plan. That is, that is the goal of the, the course. Would you be working for the government or would you be working in a company? And what kind of work environment do you foresee yourself in? I'm not going to work in government. I think in working companies will be better. And I think for this major, in my future, I'm going to give a proposal with groupmate and revise it. And because like there are always people there provide their requirement for project, I think. So we have to give the proposal and designs about this. And we are only about designing, I think. We are not considering construction. So you team up with the engineers who's going to build? Yeah, engineer, silver engineering, I think. They are going to do the construction part. Or artisan. 